The first thing I recommend getting definitely is a pulse oximeter. This is one that I bought at my local drugstore. You can buy them in your drugstores, online, etc. This is one I got from CVS. This little device here has a little mouth like this. Um, you actually stick your finger in it, you push the button to turn it on, um, and you wait for the numbers to pop up. These devices will give you not only your heart rate, um, your pulse, but also your pulse ox, which means uh, how much oxygenation you have. Now you can see the numbers, the pulse ox number, the oxygenation number is this, uh, this number over here, so that's a decent number. Over here you can see that my heart is racing, and I know you guys are going to be like, Dr. Jed! Um, and yes, that is really high. It's because I get really excited when I do these videos and I talk to you no matter and I've actually I had to redo this video a couple times trying to get it to slow down and I think I've just made it go in any, like higher um, I'm also going to tell you the things that make your heart rate go high so stick around uh, but this number really should be for most people between uh, 60 and 100. Higher than 100 is considered high, lower than 60 is considered low for most people, but you want to talk to your doctor to find out what number yours should be. You see that the numbers are changing and they're fluctuating. It's because we are dynamic beings, right? We are uh, physiological beings, so every second it's going to be kind of different because my heart's doing different things. It's responding. Um, there's also another way to check your pulse. I did a video on how to check your heart rate, okay? Check out that video. I'm not going to go into how to to do that on your own using two fingers over your pulse but I did do a video on that now things that can cause your heart so and you see when you when you take the finger out you see how it sort of goes off no finger in you stick the finger in so we'll see how this adjusts one thing I should say about these pulse oximeter uh, devices is that uh, the FDA has uh, recently issued an uh, alert about the oxygenation uh, portion of the pulse ox saying that it may not be accurate in people with darker skin tones or people with other particular characteristics about them. So in terms of the oxygenation level, this is something you really got to talk with your doctor about. Things that can cause your heart rate to go up are literally what's happening to me right now, right? What am I? I'm excited. I'm like a little nervous. I'm like, Ooh, I'm doing a video, blah, blah, blah. So excitement, but also along those lines, a stress or anxiety or panic can cause an elevated heart rate too. Uh, an overactive thyroid can cause an elevated heart rate. Pain can cause your heart rate to go up. Fever or illness can cause your heart rate to go up. Obviously, exercise. When we are active, our heart rate goes up. Um, but interestingly enough, nicotine can do it as well. There are some medications that you might be taking that could cause an elevated heart rate. Look, it's come down just a little bit, but yeah, it's still super high. And by the way, I guys, I'm feeling okay. I'm not short of breath or anything. I'm just excited because I'm doing a video. Caffeine can cause your heart rate to go up and also low blood sugar. So if you're hypoglycemic or if you have low blood sugar, your heart rate can go up as well. Um, also, alcohol can cause an elevated heart rate as well as um, illicit drugs uh, as well. Um, sometimes underlying conditions with your heart, like you have something going on with your heart, could cause your heart rate to be elevated. You want to, I don't want you to obsess over what your heart rate is, but if you're ever wondering if your heart rate is high or not, this is a device that certainly will help you along with checking your heart rate manually. You should certainly have that double check with your doctor, go see a cardiologist, your primary care doctor, if you have any concerns or symptoms, but keeping in mind um, sort of that general range we have for heart rate and then the things that can make it elevated no matter what talk with your doctor if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, anyway, guys, so I, I suspect that as I stop this video, as I finish, my heart rate will probably go down because I'll be taking it down a notch. Um, but I hope this is helpful. Let me know if it was. Let me know if you have a pulse ox. Let me know if you have this at home. Um, also, uh, oh, by the way, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Uh, please like and follow my page on Facebook. For those of you who send stars, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. Uh, also, check out my website, Dr. Jen jencaudle.com for my free health newsletter um, and for other daily offerings that I have. Let's see if we can find one more reading before we end. Let's see. What's it going to be? What's it going to see? It takes a little while. Oh, oh my God, it's higher. Ah, what are we going to do? Ah, whatever. It's just because I'm excited. My heart is actually okay. In fact, I have seen uh, a cardiologist in the past year. Um, I did some videos about that too because I was experiencing palpitations. Perhaps we'll talk again about that, but I am doing fine. Guys, I hope you're well. Let me know what you think. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.